talk to people around the country, key opinion leaders of business magazines, editors, publishers, uh, site location consultants. You know, they know about the great Fort Lauderdale, great Fort Lauderdale, Broward County fund break. What they don't know about is, is the business community that's here. And like, well, yeah, great place to vacation, but is there really a, a serious business um, aspect of, of Greater Fort Lauderdale? It's like, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a community of 1.8 million people. Um, all kinds of dynamic industries are here. But what we're seeing growing right now, and we're actually in the middle of doing the uh, three-year blueprint for a, a strategic and tactical, market, tactical marketing plan for the Alliance with an outside consultant. We, you know, I, I like to bring outsiders in from time to time because we get very biased with what we're doing. Um, but I'll tell you three key areas that we see phenomenal growth that's happening right now. The first one is aviation. So you know, Dan mentioned the airport and you know the importance of you know they hit the 25 million passenger mark last year. First time we've had over 25 million people coming and leaving out of uh, Fort Lauderdale International, Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport at Daniel Beach. But that airport is a huge driver. But one of the things that, that putting in the additional parallel runway did is that taking away the diagonal runway opened up a lot of acreage in the middle of our airport that we didn't have access to before. Um, I didn't even contemplate this. And so Kent and I have been working on a couple of really cool aviation projects where these companies actually do the service, work on these, work on engines, work for the airlines, um, work for private aviation that want uh, warranty and service facilities at our airport because of the proximity to the Latin American market. There's a lot of local people buying private aviation in Central and South America. You know, we house the, the North American headquarters for Embraer. Um, one of the ways we advertise is the Economist magazine. This is a rat. We put on. And this is the, this is working with the state of Florida, but it's featuring the CEO of Embraer, um, and then there's an ad about Greater Fort Lauderdale on the back of this as part of the wrap. And one of the ways we partner with the state of Florida, uh, but Embraer is just one example. So every aircraft they sell to a regional airline comes through this airport, where essentially they hand over the keys to U.S. Air, whatever regional uh, airline is buying the plane at the time. So Embraer is one example, uh, but we're seeing the maintenance and, and repair facilities, like another company we're working with called Aero Turbine out in Miramar. Largest real estate, commercial real estate transaction in the year before last was a facility that they took 240,000 square feet in Miramar, brand new construction. They have a, an amazing aircraft maintenance facility here. And what their business is, they lease aircraft engines. Like, well, I've heard of airlines leasing aircraft, but I never thought about leasing aircraft engines. Like, well, think about it, Bob. It's, you know, the airframe of an aircraft has a much different lifespan than one of the engines does. So that's a separate transaction. So the, the airframe has a lifespan, you lease based on that, but the engines have a much more, much shorter lifespan. Our business is we lease the engines. The lease is up, we pull the engine off, we bring it into our facility in Miramar, we put a new engine on that plane, we bring the engine into our shop in Miramar, you know, our trained technicians, and these are well paid, these are fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollar a year jobs, evaluate that engine, figure out what we're gonna do with it next. Do we uh, overhaul it, put it back into service, do we break it down for parts? So aviation is a huge industry for us. Uh, I was just out in Arizona at the International Aircraft Trading Association. Now, if you'd asked me a year ago, would I be going to the International Aircraft Trading Association, I would say, you know, how does that help Broward County? But the companies we want here, their customers are there. They're there talking to their customers, like Bombardier, Embraer, Boeing, um, Rolls-Royce, BE. Um, and it was a perfect honey run for us to talk to these companies. There are a lot of Broward companies that were there. I was amazed by how many Broward companies were prominent sponsors of this the show in Phoenix. And they actually introduced, introduced us to a lot of companies that are thinking about a South, South Florida location. So very helpful. Second key industry that you probably don't think about is generic pharmaceutical manufacturing. Uh, we have facilities in Broward, and one in Davie that has grown year after year after year. Um, it's originally called Watson Pharmaceutical. Uh, they, they manufacture generic pharmaceuticals. Another portion of the life sciences that's important to Broward County is medical devices. Both those uh, industries are, you know, I like them because the turnaround time is, is, is much more truncated than developing a new drug. You know, Palm Beach has got a phenomenal uh, pharmaceutical base for scripts and lots of doing research. Our strong suits are generic pharmaceutical and medical device. It has a much quicker turnaround time. And what I mean by that, you know, from when a discovery is made in a, in a laboratory to when you can actually go to your doctor and get that prescribed to you is about a 20-year span. So you're going to be very patient in the community. You're investing in these, these 
um, research and R&D companies, it takes a while for that to happen. Medical devices, the turnaround is much more rapid. The generic pharmaceuticals is you have to prove the efficacy once the patent is expired. If your sole role is we need to prove that we have the same efficacy as the original drug, we can sell that product. So generic pharmaceuticals is another key industry for us. Um, the last one is really a tie between global logistics. Dan mentioned the port, that's a huge driver in that. And the other side is equally important is information technology. You know, the, 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 one of the things that people lose sight of and we don't do a good job of telling this story is that we have a tradition of innovation in South Florida that's really unparalleled. If you ask, you know, somebody in the know, even in technology, if you go out to California and you say, where was the first IBM PC built? They would say, well, you know, Silicon Valley. No, well, it had to be Rochester then. No, it was South Florida. You know, the very first motherboard was developed by a very amazing woman who built the, and planned the first motherboard for the IBM PC. The very first smartphone, it was called the Simon, it was a collaborative effort of Motorola, IBM, and Bell South. That was developed in South Florida. So that innovation, that tradition of innovation is here. We need to tell that story more effectively as residents who live here. But you have companies like Citrix, Ultimate Software, Motion Point, distributed all over our county. Motion Point's up in Cypress Creek, or in Coconut Creek. Um, they do an amazing, they, they, they provide global presence for companies on the internet. Uh, that, what does that mean? No, it's a lot more than just translating a website. But their customers are like Delta Airlines. So if you go and you buy a, an airline ticket in Germany on the Delta website, that German language website is a motion point website. That, that website was developed in Coconut Creek, Florida. They have patented algorithms, and anytime they, Delta makes a change on their English language website, Motion Point is immediately notified. They update the German, the French, any other uh, language versions of that website that they have. Amazing company. Started with two people, Will Fleming and his partner. They have over 200 employees now. And their, their employee base is as diverse as you can get. Will's originally from Nebraska. He said, I could never have built this company in Nebraska. I have employees from Argentina and from Zambia, and everywhere in between working for me at Motion Point. Amazing company. Um, if you haven't heard of Ultimate Software, they provide software HR um, for all the Fortune 100 companies, and I think almost all the Fortune 500 companies. Um, am I going on too long? Sorry. Uh, so they're investing, and then Citrix, you know, for